I, I learned to weld yesterday, so it's a bit sketchy. <laughs> but, um, so, so, so these sit on there. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah. And then this slots in like that. Okay. And then it butts up against it. And then we're going to get like a, a gate. A little clip. Kind of thing. You be very careful that it's not going to be glued close by the... By the, by the molten... Oh, that's true, that's true. Um, I'm going to put a big handle on it, so... <laughs> if it's Big still hot, that doesn't pull it off. <laughs> I mean, it may be that in this case you just put a handle on it that may be a bit more complicated, that wouldn't be refugee camp suitable. I teach in a studio space and that allows us to mix the activities. So if I'm teaching something like design for assembly, we can teach the theory, but then we can having them do, uh, have the students performing a practical exercise, taking things apart, reassembling them, looking at the issues that they may have of why it's complicated uh, and what they might do to improve that design. So we really try and mix practical with theoretical and hopefully that fires them up to be engaged and interested in the subject. I'm James Moultrie and I teach design in the Department of Engineering and my main teaching is for the students in their third and fourth year who are studying manufacturing engineering. Well, I'm, I'm not sure it was ever part of my plan to be teaching. Um, I originally studied mechanical engineering and industrial design and uh, worked in industry for about 10 years or so where I uh, worked developing precision instruments for measuring exciting things like roundness and geometry uh, and also worked on lenses that are used in the film industry. So we, we set them a brief this year to manufacture a better world and design a new manufacturing process. So we give them some constraint so that they're not just having to think about designing anything. And that allows them to really focus their energies and focus their attentions on something that maybe hopefully makes a difference. Um, and then we work very closely with them through the, the whole of the year uh, and coach them and guide them and support them. Uh, you take a big reflector. This is a mini little model of what we're actually so What scale is this? this? So there's a quarter scale. The actual yeah. thing is going to be two meters. Uh, then coming up from a tower in the centre of this, we have an evaporation chamber, basically a cooking pot with water in it. So that sits above, yeah. yeah. So this then sits above here uh, with a uh, stream of dirty water going into it. Yeah. Um, the heat on the bottom evaporates the water. You get it coming up. The evaporated water forms on a cold condensation surface and then drips out the bottom into a container through the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. through the middle underneath. So many of their projects are great. Their design projects as groups of students can be fantastic. And when they come up with an idea that you can see as genuinely exciting, has a genuine potential to make a difference to the world, then that's fantastic. A few years ago, we had a project that uh, made a, a solar oven for baking bread in equatorial Africa. And the student who, or one of the students engaged in that project sub subsequently took it to Africa and developed it further and it starts to have a real benefit and a real use in the real world and that's amazing when they do that and go beyond what they've just learnt here as students and actually seek to really make a difference with what they've been learning. James very much oversees this process, he, he will be there to, to give a, a guiding light to teams who are, who are looking for inspiration. Um, he has excellent um, real world industrial experience so, so he can give a, a very informed view on where he thinks your project should go, what steps uh, you should be looking to take next. Clearly they're all exceptionally intelligent. I think that gives us an extra pressure as teachers that we, uh, you know, we're, we're dealing with, with youngsters who, who often won't take the simple answer. And they want to understand the fundamentals, they want to understand how things work and they have high expectations uh, from us as teachers that we are able to provide those answers to them. And I think that makes teaching them exciting. And I think we have a, quite a rare and special responsibility and a, and a, and a rare opportunity to influence these, these great students to, to go on and do fantastic things. All of the academic year our students have been working on their projects. Today they display their work to a public audience. So running through the day, first of all our students will uh, pitch their projects and their business plans. They have a display stand that has some posters uh, and their prototypes and their models that they can use to explain what their design is and how it works and explain maybe what investment that might need in order to take it further uh, and how that investor may 
make some profit from that design work. The day culminates with a design show. Um, and so it's a, a fantastic evening where families, business people, investors, um, and other academics all get to see the students work. The students get to talk about their work, explain what they've done, uh, and hopefully convince us that they've done some really good work and their projects are really exciting. So quite a few students do entrepreneurial work and set up their own firms. Uh, we have students who've gone on to work in design agencies, quite a number of students who become manufacturing engineers, work, working in factories, working on supply chains, international supply chains. We have a, a students who will go and work in design departments, um, doing some really interesting, exciting work in the development of new or future products. And if more of our uh, bright young things can be excited by actually how important it is that we design fantastic stuff that is good for the world, that is uh, using the world's resources uh, sensibly, that can make people's lives better, then that's a, uh, that would be a, that's a really rewarding thing to do. Dear world, yours. <laughs>